Welcome everybody to the Dream Clash kickoff event. We have an exciting NXT Tag Team Tournament for you guys, and the winners will become the newly crowned NXT Tag Team Champions. We already have the Real Americans, Antonio Cesaro and Jack Swagger moving on to the final round. Let's see who will join them. It will either be The Shield or the Primetime Players. And you might be wondering why isn't Dean Ambrose joining Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns to the ring tonight? Well that's because he's getting ready for his NXT Championship match that will take place on the next episode of Dream Clash. He will be going one on one with Jinder Mahal. That should be an awesome match, but let's get back to this tag team tournament. I can guarantee you that tonight we will make history when we crown new NXT Tag Team Champions. We'll be right back after this short commercial break. Welcome back to the Dream Clash kickoff event. I would like to take this time to thank our sponsor, MBG1211. Go check out his awesome YouTube channel. He has some amazing videos, including the Crash Collision Wrestling animation series on his channel. So make sure you check it all out. YouTube slash MBG1211. Now back to the action as the primetime players are making their way to the ring. You have to ask yourself, which one of these two teams will face Antonio Cesaro and Jack Swagger, the Real Americans, in the final round of the NXT Tag Team Championship Tournament? Both teams have a lot of potential in this industry, and they could be the next WWE and World Heavyweight Champions one day in the future, so you never know. Uh, you might see Roman Reigns as a world champion, Seth Rollins as a WWE champion, or even Darren Young. Uh, there's a high possibility of seeing NXT superstars become the next breakout star. Alright, now let's get into the action here. So Roman Reigns is dominating the early going of this contest. Uh, Darren Young uh, hasn't been looking too well, and it looks like... Darren Young is going to go over the rope, and let's see what happens here. It looks like Roman Reigns is going to just knock him to the outside of the ring, and uh, the Shield likes to swarm their enemies, and they like to do a lot of two-on-two -two attacks. So let's see if anything happens like that tonight. So uh, Roman Reigns throws Darren Young back in the ring, and uh, it looks like Seth Rollins is going to get back up on the apron. And maybe we'll see a tag. Yes, we see a tag. So Seth Rollins is now in the ring. And uh, Darren Young is in a bad state here. He needs to get a tag to Titus O'Neil. Uh, because it's not good for uh, a superstar to be trapped in the opposite corner. And that's what's happening right now. He's trapped in that corner with Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. And look at this. The tag is made again. Roman Reigns once again coming back into the ring. And uh, Roman Reigns, ladies and gentlemen, is an absolute monster. Look at this guy. I mean, he is related to the Usos. He's related to The Rock. And that's the fact that uh, a lot of people actually don't know about Roman Reigns. So, um, it's awesome to see him uh, kind of following the same path of his cousin and uh, all the superstars that have come before him in his Samoan family. And here we go, Roman Reigns now, just on the attack, uh, Titus O'Neil is not doing so well. As, and uh, it looks like Roman Reigns is going to the corner. What do we see here? Oh, Titus O'Neil with a nice reversal. Could they actually uh, pull off the win tonight and shock the hell out of all of us here in NXT? Titus O'Neil is actually looking better than Darren Young did in the ring. And it looks like Roman Reigns is going to stop his little comeback there. And oh, look at that. That is absolutely devastating. 
Roman Reigns is now working on the leg of Titus O'Neil, and it looks like Darren Young actually wants in on the action, but he's going to have to wait until Titus O'Neil uh, tags in. And uh, now the double team maneuver by Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns, that could be it right there, but he doesn't actually go for a pin. Instead, Seth Rollins to the top, and oh, it looks like he actually misses that time. So, that was a fail on Seth Rollins' part. But you know what? Once you fail, you just get up and you try again. So, hopefully, he will connect the next time. And it looks like Seth Rollins is just going to go on the attack now. And, oh, what a nice move by Seth Rollins. He's now working on that head of Titus O'Neil. And uh, he's going to show off a lot in this uh, video today. And that is, is, is really funny because when you actually show off uh, against your opponent, it means that you have this level of self-confidence self that actually can't be, uh, can't be destroyed by your enemies. And that is a good thing. Uh, it looks like now Darren Young and Titus O'Neil are going to double-team Seth Rollins here. And... Darren Young finally, finally actually doing something for himself and getting involved in this match. I know in the early going, uh, Roman Reigns was dominating the contest. Uh, and it looks like Seth Rollins is actually going to powerbomb Titus O'Neil. That was an amazing powerbomb outside of the ring. Oh, on the cover. Could this be at one, two, no. And Darren Young kicks out at two. That was a slow two count by the referee, in my opinion. Uh, maybe we're going to have to hire somebody else uh, because that was actually really slow. And here we go. Look at this. Oh, kick to the face. That is a devastating kick to the face. And now it looks like there it is. His finishing move. That's it. It's all over. The cover. Oh, and a rope break. A rope break here on NXT. Obviously a rope break would end it. Oh, it looks like Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins are going to double team Darren Young again. And uh, it looks like Roman Reigns uh, is going to be tagged in here. And now the cover. One, two, no. Darren Young kicks out again. So they're having a hard time putting the primetime players away. Uh, this could go either way right now, even though the Shield has been dominating this contest from the early going. And Roman Reigns now back to score one with Darren Young, back to dominating him. And another cover one, two, no, Titus O'Neil actually breaks up the two count. So that could have been a three if Titus didn't interfere. And now the cover again, one, two, no, and Titus O'Neil once again Breaks up the count. Roman Reigns still on the attack here as he plants Darren Young into the mat. And if it wasn't for Titus O'Neil, this match would have been over by now. Darren Young is just getting destroyed in that ring. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick commercial break. And when we return, we'll have more NXT Tag Team Action. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Dream Clash kickoff pre-show. The Shield is dominating the primetime players so far. It would be an upset if the primetime players actually picked up the win tonight. I don't think it's going to happen. It's not looking good for them right now. But I'd like to take this time to thank our sponsor once again, MBG1211. Go check out his awesome stop motion animation videos, Crash Collision Wrestling. It's amazing, guys. Alright, so back to the action. As Titus O'Neil and Darren Young are actually doing double team Roman Reigns once again. And it looks like they could actually pull off the victory if they get themselves together here. Let's see if they can pull it off. Darren Young 
What's he gonna do now? He's gonna he's gonna pick up Roman Reigns. That is impressive to pick up a monster such as Roman Reigns like that. Wow, that is definitely impressive on the part of Darren Young. But Roman Reigns back on the attack now with Titus O'Neil and it looks like he's feeling his shoulder. He could have injured his shoulder. We're not sure about that there. Uh, we will update you guys after the match if he's good for the second match. And uh, he just uh, went to put Tyus O'Neil in a submission hold. But Darren Young broke it up. And looks like Roman Reigns just hit the spear. That was awesome. The cover one, two, three, and it's over. What an awesome spear. Let's check that out one more time. That came out of nowhere. I was in the middle of talking and all of a sudden spear. Look at this. Alright, so uh, Titus O'Neil went to uh, break up that count, but Darren Young kicked out. This match was back and forth, and uh, Darren Young once again tagging in Titus O'Neil. They do a tag team maneuver on Roman Reigns here, so they're looking really good. And then Darren Young once again tried to take out Roman Reigns, but look at that spear by Roman Reigns, and that is it. The Shield take away the victory tonight, and they move on to the final round to face the real Americans, Jack Swagger and Antonio Cesaro. This is a huge opportunity for Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns of the Shield. They're facing two NXT pros, Antonio Cesaro and the former Intercontinental Champion, Jack Swagger. Jad Swagger lost his Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania to John Cena and then he was injured for several months. However, he's making his return tonight and so far he's been impressive against Brodus Clay and Tensai. So let's get into this final NXT Tag Team Championship Tournament match. Here they come, the real Americans. Zeb Coulter is sick and he'll be off TV for a while. So I hope you enjoy Antonio Cesaro and Jack Swagger by themselves. And uh, you know what? Put your hand over your chest and say, We the people. Get that trending. Hashtag We the people on Twitter right now. Alright, I wonder if we'll see any Cesaro swing tonight here on NXT. That would be interesting if he could pick up Roman Reigns and swing him around the ring at least five or six times. That would be very entertaining here in NXT, and uh, it would make for a good show. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time. The NXT Tag Team Championships are on the line. There you see it right there. The brand new NXT Tag Team Championships have not been awarded to anyone yet. They will be awarded to the winner of this Tag Team Tournament here tonight. The Shield versus The Real Americans. This is going to be an epic confrontation. Here we go. Roman Reigns and Antonio Cesaro going at it. And Roman Reigns once again showing dominance in the early going as he is just driving Antonio Cesaro into the mat. And now he has a few punches for Cesaro. He's going behind him and he's going to drive him into the mat once again directly to the face of Antonio Cesaro. That beautiful face that Cesaro likes to take care of. He says he washes his face at least five times during the day. So that is interesting. Uh, and it looks like Roman Reigns is going to tag in Seth Rollins here. And Antonio Cesaro tagging in Jack Swider. Seth Rollins once again showing off. That's what he does best. And um, it looks like they're in a tie up here. But Jack Swider gets the best of Seth Rollins. And now Jack Swider looks like he's in control of Seth Rollins. And oh, what a nice move by Jack Swider driving Seth Rollins into the mat. And now it looks like he's going to once again throw him against the ropes. Oh, and Seth Rollins with a nice reversal goes behind. Oh, that was interesting. Seth Rollins, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, a interesting superstar. Uh, just by looking at his hairstyle oh the cover one no only a one count but looking at his hairstyle though uh he has uh black hair on one side blonde hair on the other side and uh he's quite the interesting character indeed and look at this seth rollins now going behind jack swagger once again with the pin one no only a one count 
They're trying to put him away early, but I don't think it's gonna work. Now Seth Rollins back on the attack. He's now in control of this match. Uh, Jack Swagger was in control for the uh, early part of the match against Seth Rollins here, but now it looks like Seth Rollins has finally uh, recaptured that control, and uh, he's going back to the neck of Jack Swagger here. And look at that, another move by Seth Rollins, and now it looks like he's going for his signature kick. Look at that kick to the face, and Swagger's out of it. One, two, no. Antonio Cesaro breaks up the count. He was out of it though. This could be the end. We could have new tag team champions here tonight and they could be the shield. They are dominating this contest now. Oh look at that. The cover. One, two, three and that's it. Like I said they dominated and it's over. We have new NXT tag team champions Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. Check out this nice kick by Seth Rollins. They put away the real Americans faster than the primetime players. Let's check out the ending of this match here. Cesaro was going to punch Seth Rollins. However, Roman Reigns interfering. And Seth Rollins gets a nice pin. And they have made history. The Shields, Roman Reigns, and Seth Rollins have become the first NXT Tag Team Champions. Can Dean Ambrose follow in their footsteps? and become the next NXT Champion? We will find out that answer next week on Dream Clash Episode 2. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching the Dream Clash Kickoff Pre-Show. It is now time for Ric Flair vs. Damian Sandow on Dream Clash Episode 1. And now, CCW and Incarnate Media present Dream Clash. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Dream Clash Episode 1. My name is Nick and today we have the intellectual savior of the masses, Damien Sandow versus The Nature Boy, Woo! Rick Flair. Let's get into this Dream Clash match. This is going to be a battle of the robes here tonight. Who has the better robe? Is it Damien Sandow or is it the Nature Boy, Ric Flair? Honestly, in my opinion, I have to go with the jet flying, hair styling, Nature Boy, Woo! Ric Flair, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what? We will see who will pull off the victory in this epic Dream Clash confrontation here tonight. This match all started when Damien Sandow interrupted the Nature Boy Ric Flair at a WWE 2K14 SummerSlam Access Conference. So you know what? He deserves to get his ass kicked here tonight for interrupting the Nature Boy Ric Flair. Look at that. Ric Flair looking better than ever. Making his way to the ring with his manager, Mr. Perfect Kurt Henning. You gotta love that. Can't wait for Kurt Henning to become... DLC in the NWO package. That is going to be exciting, guys. I hope you guys will enjoy WWE 2K14. I know I'm enjoying this game. I love all the throwback moments in this game. It's exciting. And you know what? I might actually create a throwback video series on every Thursday. So look out for that. That should be coming soon as well. Alright. So, woo! We're going to actually woo some more. And look at that nature boy. He's looking at some women in the crowd. He's ready. He's ready to just fly out of here in a jet with some women after the match. Mr. Perfect once again. The father of Curtis Axel. Curtis Axel, the Intercontinental Champion right now on Monday Night Raw. That kid has a promising future. And it would definitely be exciting if he could face Damian Sando for the Intercontinental title. Well here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with our own match, the Dream Clash main event here tonight. Thank you for watching the Dream Clash kickoff pre-show. We had Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns of The Shield become the first ever NXT 
Tag Team Champions. They made history tonight. Let's see if Damian Sandow can make history tonight and defeat the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. This should be an interesting match. And whoo, look at that. The classic Ric Flair chop to the chest. And Damian Sandow in deep trouble here. Oh, and look at that. Ric Flair with a nice elbow off the rope. And now Ric Flair is in control of this match right now. And he's going after the leg of Sandow. You're wondering here if he's actually working on that leg from early going to lock in the figure four leg lock. That should be interesting to see what he does there. But Damian Sandow was a nice cheap maneuver of his own there. And uh, Ric Flair is the dirtiest player in the game. Always has been and he always will be. And it's funny because... Uh, people complain about Dean Ambrose uh, keeping his U.S. championship by uh, getting disqualified all the time. But Ric Flair was the master of getting disqualified. And uh, he was also the master of sneaking in brass knuckles. I remember when he uh, snuck those brass knuckles in against the Macho Man Randy Savage in this very arena at WrestleMania 8. And uh, that was an awesome match. And he was the WWF champion at the time. And um, with Damian Sandow here, he's uh, the money in the bank holder, or he was until he lost to John Cena. Oh, look at this, the cover by Ric Flair, and only a two count. Oh, and look, Damian Sandow now with the cover of the zone, only a one count there. As I was saying, Damian Sandow lost the briefcase to John Cena. Uh, John Cena retained the World Heavyweight Championship. So right now, Sandow really needs a push. And uh, this video series, Dream Clash, is going to be talking about a lot of these superstars involved in the match because some of them are legends and Hall of Famers in this business. They have paid their dues in the WWE. And look at this, Ric Flair has him in the camel clutch now. Will Damian Sandow get out of this? Yes, he will with the rope break. And Ric Flair now, once again, oh, oh, wait a minute, Damian Sando with a nice reversal of his own. That was interesting. Let's see here. Oh, a DDT by Ric Flair. And now Ric Flair going to the top rope here. What's he going to do from the top? He's waiting for Sando to get back up. And Sando finally up, and oh, look, another elbow from the top rope. Mr. Perfect is on the apron right now. And look at this. Woo! Here, here we go! Here we go! Figure four leg lock locked in! Does he tap out? This will be interesting to see if Santa will tap. Ric Flair has it. He's not going anywhere. He's in the center of the ring. And it looks like Ric Flair is going to let him go. And he's going to work more on that leg. That definitely did a lot of damage to the leg of Damien Sandow already. Ric Flair going for the camel clutch. He has it locked in. Damien Sandow trying to make it to the ropes. And Ric Flair lets him go. I want to take this time once again to thank our sponsor, MBG1211. Check out his YouTube channel. He has some awesome stop motion animation videos. Ric Flair going for the cover one. No, only a one count. That was a slow one count by the referee. And now Ric Flair is going to work on Damien Sandow's leg here. He's got that leg on the rope. And he could be preparing him for the figure four leg lock. And that would be dangerous if he gets that locked in one more time. Look at this. Flair. This is classic nature boy right here. Oh, knee to the face. Damn. Look at that. And he's going to drag him into the middle of the ring. And uh, let's see what he's going to do here. Could it be? Yes. Nature Boy Ric Flair with another figure four locked in. Will Sandow tap out? Will he tap out? Yes, he taps. It's over. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner of the first Dream Clash match. The Nature Boy. Woo! Ric Flair pulls off the victory. Let's take a look at this awesome confrontation between these two superstars. It was an impressive showing by Damian Sandow. However, it wasn't enough to defeat the 16-time world champion. And this is why he is the 16-time world champion, the nature boy, Ric Flair, getting Damian Sandow in the figure four leg lock. And Sandow has to tap out. Therefore, your winner once again, 
the nature boy, Ric Flair, alongside his manager there, Mr. Perfect, and you have to wonder, will Mr. Perfect ever appear in future Dream Clash videos? Only time will tell, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you once again to MBG1211 for sponsoring Dream Clash. Dream Clash Episode 2 will be coming soon, and that will feature Ryback vs. Goldberg. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe for more WWE 2K14.